Hi there, we're looking at um, proving congruency today. So um, the first stage with congruency is quite often just seeing two separate triangles and having to prove that they're congruent using one of the four different rules. Um, however, they do get a little more complicated and writing out the proofs can be quite tricky when you've not had to do them before. Okay, so I'm just going to talk you through. I've got three examples here. So the first one I've got here, ABC is an equilateral triangle. D lies on CD. AD is perpendicular to CB and we're to prove that ACD is congruent to ABD. So a lot of this is actually given in the diagram already. Um, these are written on exam papers just to make sure that there's nothing ambiguous about it. Okay. So the first thing we're told ABC is an equilateral triangle. That's an important note there, equilateral. We know that equilateral triangles have got all sides of the same length. Okay. So that is the first thing we can do. We can start to label the things that we know. So we know that this side and this side are exactly the same length. We also know that this side is going to be the same length. However, we've actually kind of cut that. Okay, so we're going to just wait and see what happens with that. We also know that equilateral triangles have all got the same angles. Okay, so we're going to come down here and just mark these angles up as equal as well. Okay, now then. And we're told that D lies on C, CB, that should say, sorry, typo, lies on CB, okay, and AD, this line here is perpendicular to this line here, and then we're to prove these triangles here, so ACD, so this triangle, we need to prove it's congruent to ABD, so this triangle over here. Right then, so we've got to look for our rules, um, right hand side rule would be, um, right hand side, RHS rule would be a good one to use here, okay, that is a right angle hypotenuse and a side, that would work because what we've got is a right angle, some sides that are equal and actually we've got a common side down the middle. Now the, the tricky thing here is how to write that and how to portray that in your answer, okay, so we're going to start out by maybe mentioning that these angles are the same, okay, so I'm going to put angle ACD equals angle ABD. Okay, so that's your first line. Um, then we've got AC equals AB. Okay, and then um, this is one that people struggle with writing. We've got to say that AD is common to both. Okay, that's how we write that. AD is common to both triangles to both I've got on there to both triangles okay so actually we've essentially done it and that's where people get a bit lost because actually the the proof in this is very very mathematical okay um angle ACD equals angle ABD so we've got an angle so if we look at our right hand side rule I keep saying right hand side rule that is not for this um it's just because that's what it looks like it stands for right angle okay so each triangle has got a right angle because this is perpendicular okay so these are at a right angle and um, they've got hypotenuses that are the same and because ad is common to both they've also got another side that is the same so we can just write rhs proves congruency okay so actually for use of this we didn't even need to speak about the angles Okay, but it's always worth, it's always good practice to, to pick out what information you can see and get it written down, okay? Um, so RHS proves congruency. So there's your first one. Quite a nice one there. Right then, the next one here. So CE and DF intersect at G. So CE, DF intersect at G. Um, CD and FE are parallel, and that is already denoted on the drawing by these um, arrows to show that these are parallel lines. Now, as soon as you see something about parallel lines, you might start to think about alternate corresponding angles and so on. Um, and CD equals EF, FE, so that tells us that they're the same length. So I'm just going to pop a little line on each of those so I remember that they're the same length as each other. And then we're to prove CDG, CDG is congruent to EFG. So we want to, these, they're telling us that these are the same triangle, we've got to prove it. Right then, so the first thing I would do is to kind of pay attention to these parallel lines, okay? 
we're told that they're parallel lines we know something about um, the angles on there okay and what I can see here is actually an, an alternate angle here okay so Z angle alternate angle so these angles are the same okay because they're a straight line which is cutting through some parallel lines also that goes the same for these angles here okay we've got another alternate angle here so I'm going to use two lines to denote that these two angles are the same okay as each other and actually we, we've kind of proven it there already so we need to write it out because if you can see we've now got angle side angle angle side angle so we've proven these are congruent by using the ASA rule well let's write them down so we've got angle DCG equals angle GEF okay and you might want to write them down in order of the way that that applies to the rule so you might want to even label these as A that's the first angle um, the sides so there's AS we've got CD equals EF or FE okay and then for the last angle we've got angle um well here we are cdg equals angle gfe and just remember when you're writing those out that you want to kind of uh, capture the angle in the middle of the letters okay so gfe is the angle that is created by connecting g f and e okay so it creates this angle um i'm going to say therefore um c d g is congruent to e f g through rule a s a okay so there we are so that's the thing in these kind of questions you're always hunting for the triangles and looking to prove them with one of the rules okay it's a case of applying those rules but i've just got one more of these to show you a little a little more involved this one here we are then so we've got abc which is an isosceles triangle where ac equals bc so ac equals bc so straight away i'm just going to pop a line there to show me that those two sides are the same length now we've got to be careful not to confuse those with these sides here okay i've put those on there to denote the whole length um, d and d are points on bc and ac such that ce equals cd okay so ce equals cd so actually that works in both cases um because these lines that i kind of wanted to suggest to note this whole length also apply for this shorter length as well we've been told that these are also equal okay Prove that ACD and BCE are congruent. So A, well ACD, so that's this massive triangle down here, and BCE are congruent. So we want to get those to be exactly the same. Okay. Now, what we do know about isosceles triangles is not only are the sides the same, but the angles are the same. Okay. So these two angles are matching. They are they are the same angle. Now then, let's have a look what else we can take from this. Um, if these two sides are the same down here, then that would indicate that... The, well, I mean, we already know that these sides are the same because we've already... Because it's nice off these triangles, these two sides are the same. And actually, in this case, because the triangles overlap, it might be worth just doing a sketch of them each separately, okay? Because, because they overlap, it makes it a little trickier. And I say just a little sketch. So we've got A, D, C here. And on this one over here, we've got B, E, C. Okay, I'm just going to copy over the information that we've already got. Okay, so we know that these two lines are the same. And we know that these two lines are the same. Right then, so all that all that kind of remains really in that case is because actually we've got two sides if we can find the angle in between them we could have actually applied the SAS rule okay and actually quite pleasantly here this angle is the same angle okay it's, it's actually the same part on the triangle 
that we're looking at kind of because they overlap it is going to be the same size on size on both of them so we've figured out that we've got side angle side side angle side so we have proven them so once again just to draw that out as a um, kind of a proof just to write it out we can just say just, just try to make a little bit of space okay there we are so the way that we'd write this one out we would look at and if we wanted to do it like we did on the last one i quite like that method we're going to use side angle side so we're going to say side um, AC equals BC okay um, and that's and you could even say due to it being um, due to um, isosceles triangle isosceles triangle um, angle angle and we could just say angle AC D equals angle um, ECB okay you can add that common to both okay just to clarify that and then the last side we've got there and we've got a bit of space there we go and um, the last side that we've got is um, which one did we do first Sorry. ACDC okay and this time we've got DC equals um, EC. Okay then, so therefore congruent through SAS rules. Okay, all done. Okay, and that's how we kind of write out that proof. So my camera stands it in a little bit today. So that's how we write that proof out. Right then, um, Hopefully that's been helpful. Um, I'll speak to you soon. Take care.